Welcome to the world of where a PC goes wrong. If you see something like this, chances are you're going to panic. Because it's quite scary, isn't it? But I want to talk to you about reloading your PC. Surely reloading a PC won't help this one, but it helps demonstrate my point. Tip 1 is a program called TerraCopy. Now this program is perfect for backing up and restoring your PC. It takes care of everything. So when you're moving files around, you want to make sure that one, they're there, and two, you want it to run fast. This program does that. So on screen now is the program, in case you can't tell. As you can see, it's a lot bigger than the normal Windows copy move uh, screen, but it has a lot more information on it. We have the CRC, which you can see there. That tells you what the source is and the target is. So surely, if they're the same, it's definitely copied. So it gives you confirmation that it's copied. And it runs its own test to make sure of it. And it has all these adjustable options, so you can see at the moment I'm adjusting the colour of one of the sliders, just turning it green. So now when it uh, completes a file, it becomes 100% green. Now, as long as you run your backups quite regularly, you're not going to lose any files with this, so it's perfect. But if your PC, let's say, is a little far gone, and you haven't got your backups up, where you've got a blue screen, a crazy screen, or another crazy screen, first you want to do is remove your hard drive. Take it out, it has to be the one that has the data on it you want to remove. Next, you want to put it inside an external hard drive, like one of these. So this is just a basic external hard drive caddy. You will take your hard drive and plug it into the SATA connectors. Or another option is just plugging it directly into a SATA cable. So literally a spare SATA cable inside someone else's PC. I realise I'm showing you the same PC, but I've only got one. Or, if you're going to be doing this quite regularly for other people, so if you're working in an IT shop, I can recommend this caddy. Not only does it support up to two terabytes, it's designed for easy hard drive in, easy hard drive out. So I'll give you a quick demonstration of that. So this is a nice two terabyte hard drive going in. This slides in just like that, and it's in there. And opening the door will release the hard drive. So if you're going to recover a lot of data with a lot of hard drives, that's perfect. But if you don't have one of those, you can use a live CD or a boot disk. Now tip number three, this is a program called Ninite. Now it's for after you've uh, wiped your PC, and you've got everything ready. So we've got internet installed, all the drivers. You go down this list, so I've collected Chrome, Skype, Yahoo, VLC, iTunes, Klyte, Codex, all that fun stuff. I took iTunes off because I don't want it. And then I'll move on to some more programs. But what this pretty much does is it chooses a whole set of programs you can use. So there's a whole range to choose from. I'll put the link in the description. And, well, simple as it is, you select the programs you want to install and it does it for you. And not only that, it doesn't install all the crap they come with. It keeps all the rubbish out so you don't end up with every toolbar under the sun or every antivirus program that doesn't actually work. It just installs those programs that you want. So you press get installer and then you're directed to a download page which looks like this. It has the top right confirming everything you're downloading. And then you get a small download which will start downloading everything and installing it for you. Now they're my top three suggestions. What are yours? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.